Well, you might be asking yourself, what the heck's the deal with all the blue tape on the back of your car? Well, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna work on putting the back bumper on by myself. I don't wanna damage the paint. Tape is cheap, paint is not. So I've got a new bumper right there. I got the bumper brackets all here ready to go. I'm gonna work on getting this wrestled on and put on. This bumper is from Classic Industries, so it's made in Taiwan. So I'm sure it's gonna fit phenomenally the first pass. Um, I don't know what to expect. The original bumper was rusted away, bent, trashed, and just beyond repair. So this is the best I think we're gonna do. And I wanna let you know how well this bumper does or does not fit. And that's what we're gonna get into today, how to put a bumper on a 67 or 68 Firebird. What I have laid out here are the original bumper brackets, sandblasted them, painted them, got them ready to go. About a bumper bolt kit so the actual shiny heads look pretty good sticking through the bumper. And again, I said this bumper here is from our buddies our Classic Industries. I've actually had this bumper for a while. Just needed a car to put it on, so that's what I got right here. Now, of course, this is made in Taiwan. Again, I'm sure it's going to fit great. I'm hoping it does, and we're about to find out. So the first thing's first. I want to pull, pull this out of the box and inspect it, make sure it's good. Then I'll go ahead and just get these brackets mounted on the bumper. They have a little bit of adjustment all those. I'll leave a little bit loose and see how well it looks on the back of the well, car. Let's get started with the orientation of the brackets. And this is the center bumper bracket here. It'll actually attach to hole one and two, these two bolts right here. And there's also two welded nuts with these two big screws going that actually attaches the chrome bumper to this part. So the orientation, dump all the hardware off of here, will actually be about like so. It will actually line up those holes there and then the bumper will rest on that. And there's a hole here on this side. That's where your license plate light thing goes through. I actually just forgot to drill that. Almost missed that whole part. So don't worry about it. And in case you didn't know, it actually goes right here. That's where the hole goes for the license plate wiring. I'm gonna go ahead and install this bracket here. And there's this little metal plate here. It goes something for the license plate. Go ahead and fish your license plate light through the bracket. Makes a whole lot easier now. And of course, keeps everything all together. I'll go ahead and stab this through. Start the nuts on the back side. And then we'll flip the bumper on and see what it looks like. But either way, this bracket can hold the weight of the bumper while I'm playing around with it here. It'll make my life a little easier. So I think also this bracket will not need to come back off, or shouldn't have to come back off. So we'll go ahead and tuck that like that. The outer ones look like this. They're mirrored to left and right. This is the passenger side, so it has the notch kind of facing forward. And these ones here are actually bolt midway. And again, they're mirrored images of each other, but this here is passenger side. And then the driver's side is here. So I'll go ahead. That's what I've already got kind of started. So just leave them loose. They have a little bit of wiggle room, and then we'll get everything test fitted. And then we'll see how good this bumper is going to fit. But I'll go ahead and get these started. We'll flip that bump around and hang it on the car. Now a little behind the scenes action here. These are the bolts that are going to go out there and two go into here. I have those laid out with a ratchet. That way whenever I get it up close, like, you know, doing this stuff solo, I can make sure I can get the bolts snugged up. So I've got those laid out just to let you know behind the scenes things. So now I'll go ahead and grab the bumper, flip it into place. Now, of course, it'll be just my luck. I go to put this on the very first time. It's going to fit perfect, but I have to take it back off to tighten all the fasteners. But I just want to see how good or bad this thing's going to fit. Getting into this, that side actually lined up with the holes. And this side's looking pretty good, of course. That means now I probably have to take it right back off and tighten everything up. But. Well, it actually all started by hand. I wasn't expecting that, so let's see if we can get these two started now. Here are the Found them. Couldn't, couldn't find the screws. <laughs> there. Now, are these lining up with the question? And it appears the answer is... Okay, the part that was kicking my butt a little bit here is getting these screws started. But they're actually started now, and they're started in there straight. And then here's a close-up orientation of this little gutter thing that uh, goes on top of the carriage bolt. So that goes this way. It has something to do with the license plate, but... I don't remember 100%. I just know it's the way that it goes. But as for the bumper fitment, um, it's a little wide, the gap here. But I have a feeling when I pull it up tight, it's going to pull that down. When I pull this here, it's actually a little bit far away. But, I mean, as for the, the gap, so, it really doesn't look all that bad. And the height of it, um, lines up pretty good with the body line. So, 
I hate to admit it, but this bumper actually looks pretty decent. The chrome is good. The fitment is decent. Uh, the lines don't look bad. Uh, I just need to pull it back off and tighten the brackets. That's what I'm going to move up just a little bit. You can see that movement here, but I need to bring that corner up. But that, I think it's going to work pretty good, actually. So I need to pull that back loose, secure all the hardware, and I'll do one more fitment, and then we'll pull all the tape off and really see how it looks. Well, those are all tight now. I'll go ahead and flip this thing into place, hopefully for the very lastest time, and we'll see how well this goes. That's one of those times if you had someone to give you a hand, probably not a bad idea. I think we'll make it in here. Adjustment. Show you what that looks like here on the inside. Now, what's going on? You can check this out. I mean, seriously, the bolt alignment. I couldn't ask for anything better. I've had to actually, you know, get creative with you know, two by fours and pry bars to get these bolts lined up. But look at this one here, going right in. Now, I, I'm just kind of amazed it's actually working like that. So at this point, they're all just hand tightened or started. I'm gonna get the two screws now here in the bumper. If I can get these two started, I said I'll go ahead and start tightening it up and see where it ends up at. But I are actually, look at that, right on the money again. So um, I have to say at this point, I'm kind of impressed with the classic industries bumper. Look at this by hand going right in. So these here, a little tricky the first go around, but going right in. And this is why you go ahead and put the uh, uh, license plate light wiring in because it's kind of hard to get your hand back in here to actually get that tucked in there. You could do it, but it's a whole lot easier when you have it out here in the open. So we get these all started and snugged up. Let's see how it goes. We got these bolts tightened up, pulled up nice, even to the body, pulled up these bolts here, pulled up pretty good. The gap here, if I'm going to be super critical, is a little larger than the gap on this side. Now, the other thing is I haven't tightened up these yet, so there's a chance that might pull that up into place but so far all i've done is literally put those bolts in and snug them up and i've got a, it's a little snug here a little tighter on this side so again these are repop bumpers i don't think i've ever seen them actually fit quite this nice normally you're best off to of chroming your originals but the original of this car was so far just deteriorated that it wasn't an option but so far i really like it so i'll get those two screws tightened up i'll tighten the two other nuts there but i think we're gonna have a winner well, everything is secure and tight and torqued down and in place, minus my license plate light. But uh, actually, I love it. I hate to say that, but uh, this is one of the first repop bumpers I've actually installed and do actually like the fitment. I didn't really have to twist it a whole lot. And when we're talking, by the time I tighten it up, the gap on this side is just slightly larger. I'm not talking much, maybe an eighth inch. I think I'm being critical, but other than that, it equaled out here on the sides. Really close to the tail panel, looking on both sides here. Uh, it lines up with the corners of that body line. Of course, I got the tape on. I'll pull the tape off, you really see everything. So, um, yeah, I'd say this is like an A, A, maybe an A plus, but definitely an A. So, Classic Industries, good job. So, I'm gonna rip the tape off this thing. We'll take a better look. I'll get that license plate light mounted up out of the way. Then we're making some serious progress. I guess one more tip here for you. Um, yeah, I goofed you need to install the light plate light first you see this is loose this is loose i've taken this back loose to be able to feed this up in there so fyi before securing everything for your last go around put your light plate light up in the bumper so that's my last little tip for you i guess i got out of sequence so hope that'll help you out and save you a little bit of grief right, there you go in classic industries rear bumper installed loving it fit great chrome finish is nice i would definitely recommend the use of that bumper i'm actually very pleased with it even considering this car is completely cut apart and put back together you know, I either got things really right or it matches their bumper or however all that came out. Really like how this one worked out. So super happy with that. I think next go around, um, car is really coming together really nice. Getting all the trim put back on, side marker, all that stuff. Um, done a lot of work to this car. Just a little about a year and about two or three months. So made some great progress. Uh, I do have a vinyl top. 
Uh, this is a little piece here that goes across the back. It's a little different design than the first one. I think I'm gonna try to do this top and see how it goes. In worst case, I have to call in somebody that's called a professional and have them do it. But for some reason, I like to try to tackle these things myself. So we still got the front bumper to put in and the grill. So I'm gonna do a video on that. Uh, as you can tell, getting really close to being this thing on the road. And I'm telling you, it's pretty exciting to think that we're just this much closer to making that happen. Things are going real quick. We're on the home stretch, I like to say. After paint, things just pick up a bunch of little small projects. Um, I still have to do the interior and stuff like that. But even that goes relatively quickly compared to everything else. So I do appreciate you guys following from the word go. You've guys seen this car come completely apart. Um, wasn't a horrible car, but needed a lot of love. Had rust, had issues. But now look at this thing. I'll tell you, it's uh, probably better than the original 1968 condition. We've added a few mods, super clean looking. I think this car is going to actually exceed my expectations. And I hope whenever it's out there, you guys can see this thing and appreciate what we've done. And I hope that you've learned something from the whole journey. That was the point of this. I wanted to do a car from beginning to end. I had plenty of projects, well, workbenches, uh, that needed some work. But I wanted to do something from the very beginning. And that's exactly what this is here. So appreciate you guys who have subscribed, shared my content, and share with anybody. And I hope that it helps get you inspired to get out there or at least give you ideas for behind the scenes things or how not to do things, I like to say sometimes. For the most part, I do a pretty good job only because I have failed multiple times prior to this. The only reason why I make it look so easy, trust me, I fell flat on my face many a time. So, and sometimes I just get plain lucky. So, anyway, I've rambled on enough. Next round, I need to go work on the bumper. Final top is gonna be something to do with this car, getting it to the finish line. I can't wait to get out on the road and show you guys, and we will see you then.